What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're going to look at everything the grinder does, and I did happen upon a couple of things while I was looking through this that I didn't know before making this video, so pretty cool. Let me know if you knew everything in this list in the comment section below. Right off the bat, if you're looking for the grinder, it's under the survival tab of your feats, and it is unlockable at level 17. The first thing that I'm going to show you is everything that turns into spice. So everything in my inventory here turns into spice, and it uses 10 for every one spice. So as you can see, it goes down by 10s in order to give you one spice. So the things in this list are the Azura's Glory, the False Mandrake, the Orange Phycos, the Gray Flower Lupine, Plant Fiber Seeds, Aloe Seeds, Lupine Seeds, Midnight Blue Flower Seeds, True Indigo Seeds, Orange Phycos Cuttings, Leavening Plant Seeds, Hop Seeds, Highland Bushberry Seeds, False Mandrake Seeds, Desert Berry Bush Seeds, and Azura's Glory Seeds. All of those items will turn into spice. The next items that we're going to look at actually turn into salt. So if we put stone in there, you can see for every 10 stone, you will get one salt. If you want more salt than that, what you're actually going to want to put in there is crystal. And every two crystal will turn into one salt. So there you go. You can see one salt and it'll take another two and it'll make an additional salt. So those two items, stone and crystal, turn into salt. Let's look at the items that are going to turn into a bone meal. So the claws, the chitin, and the bone are all going to turn into bone meal at different rates. So if we put one in there, it should produce one bone meal. If we put one chitin in there, it should produce one bone meal. And if we put bones in there, we'll actually see more bone meal produced from putting bones in there at a rate of four per one bone. Now here's a couple of items you probably didn't know you could put in your grinder. The severed arm and the severed leg will both turn into a bone meal and blood actually. So if we let that process, you can see it turns into two bone meal and one blood. And the next one should turn into the same. So two bone meal and one blood. I didn't know that you could put the severed arms and the severed legs in the grinder to get these resources. Additionally, I didn't know that you could put the skeletons serpent head in here either but that is going to produce bone meal and one of those is going to produce six bone meal putting the fangs in will also produce bone meal and that's going to be at a different rate than other things so that's one bone meal for each of the fangs the horns will also produce a bone meal and that's going to be at a two to one ratio so every time you put a horn in there it's going to give you two bone meal the tusks as well will give you two bone meal per set of tusks so if you put those in there, you will produce a two bone meal. The ivory is going to produce four bone meal for each piece of ivory that you put in the grinder. And then the withered head is going to produce a three bone meal when it's placed in the grinder. Next on our list is going to be a gold and silver. So a silver coin is going to produce the same amount as a gold coin. And that's going to be two silver dust for each coin, and the gold dust will do the exact same amount. It will be two gold dust for each coin. When we move over to the bars, it gets a lot more. So what's going to happen is each silver bar is going to produce 10 silver dust, and each gold bar is going to produce 10 gold dust. Wrapping it up with the last items on our list is the lotus flowers. So all of the lotus flowers can be broken down into dust and each flower is going to produce one dust. So one yellow for one dust. And as you see, it works through each one of them will produce one dust for the number of flowers you put in it. And that's it. Pretty straightforward and simple. Everything the grinder can do. You let me know in the comment section below. What do you think the next guide should be? The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.